this question deals with uh, non right angle triangle and also it deals with bearing so first of all it shows the position of three stationary fishing boats a b c which are assumed to be in the same horizontal plane boat a so we have the distance of a b so this is 10 kilometer then we have the information that the distance of BC is 8 km and we also have this information bearing now bearing is the name of a special angle if you take a navigation compass and if you point north which is pointed over here any angle from the north in the clockwise direction is called bearing so it's the name of a special type of angle so the bearing of uh, of C from B is this angle which is given 65 degrees so this is the bearing it's just a name of an angle for example we call 90 degree by a special name right angle triangle so bearing is just the name so the first question is find the distance from A to uh, C to A so that means we have to find the distance AC so that's it so let's start so we can do this in the regular triangle using the cosine rules so let me redraw the triangle it's always a good idea to redraw the triangle so this is a b c and we know this is 65 degree and this is 10 and this is 8 all we have to do is find a c so you can write in triangle a b c using the cosine rule so using the cosine rule okay so what we have to do the rule is if you remember let me write it down over here the cosine rule states that if you have a triangle a non right angle triangle and if you know two of the sides suppose this side is known and this side is known and you know the angle which makes which is made by these two sides suppose this is theta then you can find the opposite side suppose this is C so the, in that case c square would be equals to a square plus b square minus 2 a b into cos theta so that's how the cosine rule works so we can write so a c square equals to 10 square these are the included the sides that make the included angle so 10 square plus 8 square minus 2 of 10 into 8 into cosine of the angle which is 65 degree so let's use the calculator for this so first of all what we have is 10 square so we have 10 square then we have 8 square it's a good idea to do some of the calculation in your head because 10 square is 100 8 square is 64 so if we add this up we get 164 then we subtract 2 times 10 times 8 times we have cosine of the angle 65 and altogether we get 96.38 96.38 so this is AC squared therefore AC is going to be square root of 96.38 and that turns out to be so square root of the answer is 9.82 9.82 remember this is in kilometer now the answer format that is a1 mark remember the answer format so this is 10 meters so first of all let's convert this to meter this would be uh, into 1000 meters so 9820 isn't that to 9817 so 981 let me write this also 17 it becomes 9817 meter so 9817 meter means uh, to the nearest 10 meter would be 9820 meter 9820 meter so that's AC in terms of meter now in question number B what we have is we have to find the bearing of C remember if this is C the bearing of C is going to be around here at A from A and the angle as you know is measured from north in the clockwise direction so this is the angle we are looking for but we cannot find this angle instead what we can do is we can find this angle and after finding this angle we can just do geometry and cancel this from remove this from 180 degree and we'll know this angle so what we can do is we have to find this angle in the triangle so here we have to do what we call the cosine rule now 
the cosine rule the sine rule sorry the sine rule so what we're doing the sine rule is that if you know two sides and if you know one of the angle you can find the other angle so the rule over here would be if you know this angle let me call this angle theta so sine theta divided by the opposite side the opposite side over here is 8 equals to this angle sine 65 divided by the opposite side AC which we just found which is 9.817 9.817 and that's it that's the sine rule for finding the sine rule you need one angle and the opposite side and you need one unknown angle and the opposite side so we can write in triangle ABC using the sine rule so we can write sine theta divided by 8 equals to sine 65 divided by 9.817 so that turns out to be sine theta equals to if you multiply this this would be 8 sine 65 divided by 9.817 and this turns out to be so 8 times sine 65 divided by 9.817 and that turns out to be 0 0.7386 0 0.7386 so now we have to find theta theta is sine inverse this step is important so you have to write this so this is going to be 0 0.7386 and once we do the inverse we get 47.6 degree 47.6 degree now this is just this angle this is not the bearing the bearing is measured from the knot in the clockwise direction so the bearing would be so bearing is 180 degree minus 47.6 and that turns out to be 180 minus 47.6 132.4 so 132.4 we have to write down the bearing to one decimal places and that's it 132.4 degrees the bearing question number two uh, deals with surds and this calculation particularly uh, we have to remember how to rationalize surds and how to deal with surds surd is when we have an index in a fraction form particularly when that index is uh, in to the power half that means square root so let's start so we have x square root 27 plus 21 equals to 6x by square root 3. Now the idea is to bring all the x on one side. Before that we have to get rid of this square root 3 from downstairs. So what we can do is multiply this to the other side. So square root of 3 multiplied by x square root of 27 plus 21 equals to x uh, 6 times x. So this would be x times square root of 3 into square root of 27 is square root of 3 into 27 is 81 plus this would be 21 times square root of 3 and this would be 6x. Remember this rule when you have this is the rule for indices square root of x multiplied by square root of y we get square root of x times y that's what happens. So the next thing would be bringing the x on one side first of all square root of 81 is 9 so this is 9x and let's bring this 6x to the other side this becomes minus 6x and on this side we have 21 square root of 3 if we take this to the other side it will be minus 21 square root of 3 this turns out to be thrice x minus 21 square root of 3 therefore x equals to if we divide by 3 it would be minus 7 square root of 3 this one is logarithm and the first one we have is 4 to the power a equals to 20 now remember the rule for logarithm if we have a to the power x equals to b we can write x equals to log base a b and then we can change the base to common log whenever we write the logarithm without any base it means the base is 10 so getting back to the sum the first step would be a equals to log base 4 20 
and then we have to change the base to common base so log 20 divided by log 4 now we can use the calculator so that would be log 20 divided by log 4 and that is 2.16 2.16 and that is the value of a three significant figure remember that the format has to match question number B we have a log equation so 3 plus 2 log base to B equals to log base to 30 B so the idea is to bring all the logarithm on one side and the numbers on the other side so if we uh, simplify this first of all the 2 would be here so remember the ideal rule is this when you have log base a x equals to b therefore x equals to a to the power b so that is the basic idea but in order to make this into a single log we have to use this rule if you have a log base b c then it would be log base b c to the power a the a comes front so the a is you know uh, coefficient free the logarithm is coefficient free and on the other hand if you have log base c a minus log base c b we have the rule for division remember that so now we can get back to the sum so bring the two upstairs it becomes log base to b squared and bringing this to the other side becomes negative log base to 30 b and this plus 3 becomes minus 3 over here and we can write log base to b squared divided by 30 b remember the division rule I just mentioned over here and this is minus 3 so what happens now if this b and this b cancels it becomes log base to b by 30 equals to minus 3 now therefore let's use the main rule over here so b by 30 is 2 to the power minus 3 now we know 2 to the power minus 3 is 1 by 2 cubed which is 8 now b turns out to be 30 times 1 by 8 if we cancel this off 2 15 is a 30, 2 4 is a 8, 15 by 4 is the answer. So you have to give each answer to 3 significant figure. So 15 by 4 is going to be 